young ones drifting away Our souls somewhere on the higher line We are the cold hearts lighting up as we go Like it is the last time personalities and very different expectations as well we're really really trying to do something that matters to the community and giving this avenue it's a privilege for the girls to be able to take this on as a responsibility to the community and really just take ownership of what they can do for the public so I think one of those special things this year would be our collaboration with MEF <laughs> So this entire week has been building up to this. Honestly, it was very nerve-wracking backstage and as soon as you come out, there's like billion flash flashes in your face. This isn't my first press conference. I've done a few before previously in the past for like theater plays or whatever not. But this one was especially difficult because we had to hold the pose. All in all, I feel like I've learned a lot and um, I need to work harder for the next challenge and hopefully we will all do better. All the tips that we given from the, all the teachers and all that is coming to my mind. I just be myself in front of the public and finally I feel like I'm one of the finalists and I think I did my best on the stage. At first it was very nerve-wracking but overall I think I did a good job. I was a bit nervous and there's many more to come. I think we did pretty well. Not only that, this has been my dream since I was five and being in the press conference today was the first step towards achieving my dream and until the dream becomes a reality, I will not stop. I enjoyed my, the catwalk a lot and I think it turned out so well that all of us really smiled for the camera. Still got a lot to work on with a smile, have to pose and you know, have to be aware of the body language, do not move too much because everybody is staring at you. When I stand behind the door, actually I feel a bit nervous at the starting part, but whenever I step inside press conference room, I feel I'm proud of myself. It was so tiring actually, my legs are aching, I can't move my toes, my jaw is so sore. I think in the end it's all worth it because this is where I want to be and I want to win that crowd. I'm not used to standing on my heels for a very long time, so we stood on the stage for about half an hour. But everything went well. We can finally go back and tell our friends, tell our family, share the good news that we are actually the finalists and um, looking forward for more challenges to come. Suddenly I was like wondering, why, why, why is Nisha moving? Is there something wrong? So I turned and looked and she wasn't there. But it was okay, mistakes happened. I had a wonderful week with Miss Universe Malaysia and everyone here and it was really a spectacular time. It was, well, nerve-wracking. It went by so fast. I couldn't remember what happened actually when I was walking on stage. But after that, it was a bit hard because we had to smile. Like this, the whole time. Honestly speaking, on stage, I never smiled that much in my life. All the insecurities that I had for my catwalk, my expression, my smiles. When I look at the banner, I felt like this is the place that I'm honoured to be. It had been a long way and we had done so much training. 
and everything just for this press conference. Like everyone of you know who are we. And there's 14 of us. Please support. On behalf of Malaysian East Foundation, I'd just like to thank you very much to Miss Universe Malaysia because this is the first time that we're doing this together in, in collaboration. The whole idea is to get the Miss Universe Malaysia and the contestants um, to talk about HIV AIDS. But the most paramount important is education. So this is where Miss Universe, Miss Malaysia can come in because they have many followers. That's the age group. It would be best if they can talk to their followers you know, the do's and the don'ts in terms of HIV and we hope that others would, would come forward as well. Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Tevi, Miss Universe Malaysia 2015. Good luck to all of you girls and I'll see you girls in January. Be the best one win. Now you're watching the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2016. I'm Hisham Hussein, Honorary Secretary, Malaysian AIDS Foundation.